Thank you, Tim. Target 12 also has new details tonight in the investigation into the deadly pursuit in Providence. We've been going through a trio of search warrants in the case. And they reveal what investigators are looking at as they try to piece together what happened before 43 shots were fired by police. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau tells us what he's learned. State police are examining clothes, cell phones, drug paraphernalia, and bullet fragments, according to their latest filings. According to one of the search warrant affidavits, the chase came to an end, quote, when the path of the pickup truck ultimately was blocked by civilian traffic. There is civilian traffic between the interstate and the pickup Joseph Santos was driving, but as we reported last week, Police radio recordings indicated state police asked Providence police to block the on-ramp. Are you able to block the ramp 6 east to 95 north? Route 6 east to 95 north. We asked a state police spokesperson today, wasn't a police car blocking the civilian traffic that blocked the pickup truck? Laura Mead Kirk told us, quote, the truck's path ultimately was blocked by civilian traffic, including the car that Santos rammed in an attempt to escape. One affidavit filed last Friday also states there is probable cause that the pickup truck occupants were involved in criminal activity. A seizure report shows a list of 21 items recovered from the truck, including two glass pipes and a syringe that potentially indicate possible drug use. Also, a 50-inch TV was pulled from the truck. When we asked if police suspect the television is stolen, we were told detectives are reviewing all of the evidence seized. That includes the clothes Santos and Demirs were wearing and three cell phones. In a warrant attachment, state police said in general terms, the devices may be evidence from a crime or used to collect and store information about crimes. State police tell us while the truck was unregistered, Santos owned it. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.